Hello and welcome back to another quick tutorial. Today we're gonna continue from our last time um, example and we'll initiate this time different scenes using Rust. Let's start by renaming our current scene to a game scene and let's then create two additional ones. A entry scene and also a main menu scene. The entry scene is like the the wrapper scene where we will actually instantiate the different scenes and then the main menu scene and the game scene are obviously as the name suggests um, the different scenes we will try to use. So the main menu scene should have a button what we will later use to um, navigate towards the game scene. So therefore let's heading over to our Rust code and let's create the entry node RS file. That one will actually contain the business logic to load the different scenes and also to navigate between those. Of course we need to add in the libRS file our new mo uh, node, what we called here entry node. And then I just copied over from the player um, RS file the content and quickly modified it. Um, and added, uh, removed the previous properties and added a main scene property and also a game scene property. Please pay special attention that the main scene is of the type RGD and backed scene. And now let's just create the variables. Now let's add our methods to navigate to the main scene and to the game scene. And in order to instantiate a new um, scene, we use first the self um, main scene dot instantiate, and then we get the new en instance, and then we just add it to our entry um, node actually. And of course, that's a optional, so actually only when there is a value, we know, okay, that's a new instance, and we return the instance. And in the case of an 
um, not existing uh, value like none, then we just print to our go.console some error and return early. And when everything was loaded properly, we store it in and assign it to a local variable. And then we use this variable actually to append it to our entry node. So therefore we want to clean the children and then just add them uh, at the new scene as a child to our entry node. Let's copy over our navigate to main menu and rename it to game scene and then slightly modify the field what we need to use there and then potentially we will rename it to a more simple name just like new game potentially and main menu. In order to use our extension, what we just created, we need to reload the Rust project or the Godot project, sorry. Um, and then actually we should have this kind of entry node accessible through the editor. Here we go. As there is no scene loaded yet, we will use the ready function to load our main scene. In that case, the main menu scene. So therefore we just use one of our declared method and execute it. Next, we start adding a main menu node RS file. In that one, we will extend actually a node with a button press event so that we can say a new game pressed, for example, and we hook it then on the editor side with a button so that we can transition towards the game scene. And again, I just copied the previous um, entry node and now we just remove all the properties what we don't need and enrich it with our code what is required. So therefore let's get rid of the uh, new game um, method and just let's rename it to new game pressed and then we will use the parent to going up the whole hierarchy and then actually execute on the parent, which is of type entry node, our particular um, new game method, what we just declared before. With that approach, we will clear the whole um, scene in the first place because of the children as we remove them and then just use a new 
instantiated um, scene as a child. In order to cast it to our entry node, we need to use the try cast, which is giving back a OK or an error. Of course, the error we will handle again with the go dot message, and if everything is OK, we return actually our, um, our node and assign it to a local variable so that we can then um, start using that one. Let's assign it to a node variable and then we use the node base mute and actually execute the method um, start uh, new game, sorry. <laughs> Voila. And of course it needs to be mutable because we need it to modify itself. We try it out and compile it and then let's try and run it. Of course, we reload the project again so that the changes are affected and visible in the Godot editor. Assign it, get rid of the initial node and add the new one, what is actually our main menu node. And then we start adding a button here and connect it with our new game pressed method. A canvas layer, of course, for our button element. Then let's resize it a bit and declare a text in it. New game. And now let's hook it. So when this one is passed, we connect it with actually our main menu node and there should be a new game pressed method available and this one we connect with it. Now let's see what happens. Wait, uh, actually the scene was added but we also still see the button. So we want to ensure that the button is actually also removed. So something is wrong with our clearing of the children. Therefore let's quickly heading back to the code and have a quick look there. In more particular I think we need to jump to our entry node new game method. Okay, it seems the clear did not work, but let's try to iterate through and then clear or remove each child um, by its own. So therefore let's assign the self-based mutable to a local variable and inside the closure we were gonna use it to remove a child, what we just get from the iterator. So remove child and the C we want to remove, which is a node. We declare it as mutable. And then there we start adding our new scene instance as we wanted it once everything is cleared. Let's try it out again by building. And this time the children are proper cleaned. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.